Chapter 2, Mishnah 4. The six blessings listed in the previous Mishnah are added to the Shemona Esrei after the blessing of Goel Yisrael, Redeemer of Israel, which is expanded on these occasions. The Mishnah records the endings of all these seven blessings, the extended ending of Goel Yisrael, Redeemer of Israel, and the endings of the six new blessings. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. For the first blessing, Redeemer of Israel, he, the prayer leader, says in conclusion, he who answered Abraham on Mount Moriah, he shall answer you and listen to the sound of your crying this day. Blessed are you, Hashem, the Redeemer of Israel. For the second blessing, remembrances, which is the first of the extra blessings, he says in conclusion, he who answered our forefathers at the Sea of Reeds, he shall answer you and listen to the sound of your crying this day. Blessed are you, Hashem, who remembers the forgotten. For the third blessing, Shofars, he says, He who answered Joshua at Gilgal shall answer you and listen to the sound of your crying this day. Blessed are you, Hashem, who listens to the cry of the Shofar. For the fourth blessing, Psalm 120, he says, He who answered Samuel at Mitzpah, he shall answer you and listen to the sound of your crying this day. Blessed are you, Hashem, who listens to crying. For the fifth blessing, Psalm 121, he says, He who answered Elijah on Mount Carmel, he shall answer you and listen to the sound of your crying this day. Blessed are you, Hashem, who listens to prayer. For the sixth blessing, Psalm 130, he says, He who answered Jonah from the belly of the fish, he shall answer you and listen to the sound of your crying this day. Blessed are you, Hashem, who answers in time of distress. For the seventh blessing, Psalm 102, he says, he who answered David and Solomon, his son in Jerusalem, he shall answer you and listen to the sound of your crying this day. Blessed are you, Hashem, who has mercy on the land.